Hello, everybody. It's Steve from Black Octopus Sound, and I'm going to show you how I made the modulations on the chords for this future bass tune that I've been working on. So check out the track. <laughs> All right, so here is the project itself with the modulation removed. So let me orientate you to my chords group that I have here. So it's a few different instances of the exact same chord progression layered over each other. Each of these I've made with my Access Virus Synthesizer. So let me orientate you to the different chord layers. <laughs> And that last one is to fill out the lower end of the spectrum a little bit too. <clears throat> and so this is what it sounds like without the modulations of the track. <laughs> And so in my chain here, I have an instance of Cable Guy's Volume Shaper. So let us activate it because that's what this video is actually about, is me demonstrating how I've made that modulation using volume shape, uh, Cable Guy's Volume Shaper. So it is an LFO-based volume shaping plugin. It can be used for a wide variety of different things, getting some cool effects. Uh, you can use it for side chain ducking and things like that. And so this is what it sounds like with the plugin activated. So what I've done in Ableton to get the modulation is first thing is I select the volume shaper plugin and put it into a group and I activate the configuration window here and I click configure. And so the next step is to just check the box here where you select your, your LFO rate. And so the next step is I'll act activate the macro, open up the macro window in the rack. And so I'm gonna map the loop length function, that's what it's called in Cable Guy's Volume Shaper language, to my macro. And so now all of a sudden, I have a macro knob where I can control And so next step is I'm going to right click and show a new automation lane and make this a lot bigger. So I have a little bit more flexibility, right click in the grid area of the sequence and zoom right in here and start drawing in my LFO rate that I want. And I'm thinking about how I can make a really hype groove using And so I kind of like where that's going, so I'll just duplicate it, and then I'll start doing some variations. Okay, I like where that's going. And... And so to turn my, my draw tool on and off, I'm just selecting the B key. I just find that I'm all about the second savers. Yeah, so that's a, a fairly decent modulation loop that I've done fairly quickly. Let's just check it out in context. Sweet. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out just for the sake of this tutorial video. My actual track, this is just a, a, a different project saved with it under a slightly different name. It's the same project saved under a slightly different name just so I can 
build the the modulation from the ground up. So anyways, that is how I've made that modulation on the chords. It, the Volume Shaper plugin went on the chords group. I want to make sure that that's very clear that I didn't put it on the in, an individual channel. I made I put all of these chord all of these instances of the same chord progression with different synth patches in one group together and I've put the Volume Shaper plugin all on the same group so it's doing it to all of them all at the same time. Anyways, it's a really great plugin and it's nice because it has the flexibility where you can tweak the wave shape yourself in a way that suits the groove of your track a little bit better. And uh, there's a whole bunch of really great presets in here too. So I'll just quickly run. You can do some pretty cool things with all the different pr preset wave shapes. So I'll just delete the automation just for a moment. Here you have all your basic wave shapes as well. And so I tend to stick to the ducking, uh, the ducking tab with with these preset waveforms just uh, because it's my preference, but there's lots of room to play around. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty versatile plugin. So anyways, I hope you end up enjoying this plugin as much as I do. Ciao.